We're now going to do the pectoral girdle and upper limbs. So this bone here is the clavicle. The flat end here is the sternal end. The more rounded side is the acromion end. This little bump here is the conoid tubercle. Over here, this bone here is the scapula. The scapula, we have the uh, glenoid cavity. We also have the infraspinous fossa and the supraspinous fossa. They're above and below the spine. The spine ends in this piece here, which is the acromion. Again, here's the glenoid cavity. This bit of bone here attached to the glenoid cavity, that is the coronoid process. And then we go over to the back side. This smooth area is the subscapular fossa. Here we have the humerus. So here is the humerus. Isn't that hilarious? Makes you just want to laugh really hard. I wish it would come in focus. All right, at the proximal end here, we have the smooth area. That's the head. The small bump is the uh, lesser tubercle. The bigger bump here is the greater tubercle. The um, space groove going between it is the intertubicular sulcus. Uh, between the head and the, uh, you can see this little line, this little line going around is the neck. That is the anatomical neck. And then in this imaginary area is the surgical neck. Oh, about a third of the way down, there's this rough patch you can just almost assume isn't there. That's the deltoid tuberosity. Then we go all the way down to the distal end. Here we have the lateral epicondyle and the medial epicondyle. This is the capitulum. This is the trochlea. Uh, above the trochlea is the coronoid fossa. And then we can flip this around. We have this really big depression here. That is the um, olecranon fossa. And then from here we go to the ulna. Look at that lovely ulna with its U-shaped head area. The smooth area inside of the U is the trochlear notch. This bit of bone tissue here is the coronoid process. All this bone tissue here is the olecranon. See this little smooth depression here? That is the radial notch. And then we go down to the distal end of it and we see that we have the smooth areas, the head, and the tiny little point is the styloid process. Here is the radius. Love the radius. Okay, if the radius is proximal end, we have the head. We have the radial tuberosity. We have the neck underneath the head, neck underneath the head, radial tuberosity. And then at the very distal end, we have this smooth area here for the ulna, that's called the ulnar notch. And at the other side, we have this point sticking down, that is the styloid process. Here is the hand. All the bones up here are collectively known as the carpals. With the carpals we have, let's see, can I do this with my phone? Uh, I think so. All right, scaphoid, lunate, trichatrium here, pisiform attached to it, uh, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. Those are the carpals. These are the metacarpals, one, two, three, four, five. These are all the phalanges, uh, proximal phalanx one, proximal phalanx, uh, distal phalanx one, uh, proximal phalanx 2, middle phalanx 2, distal phalanx 2, and so on, 3s, 4s, and 5s.